Uh, let's talk good health today. Back to school has meant back to the doctor for a lot of local kids. Tends to happen every year as students start spending long days together in close quarters. Dr. Frank McGeorge here with what's going around. Teachers and some doctors refer to it as the back to school plague. Now clearly it's not deadly, but it's definitely annoying, especially when it gets in the way of a good start to the school year. Here's what's going around where you live. In Wayne County, Children's Hospital is reporting an increase in coughs, colds, and asthma flare-ups from changes in weather and those back-to-school germs. St. John Hospital is starting to see some flu-like illnesses, though not necessarily true cases of influenza. And the CVS Minute Clinic in Wyandotte is treating strep throat. Over to Oakland County, Dr. Kelly Lavassure at Beaumont Children's is seeing viral illnesses, hand, foot, and mouth disease, and croup. Clarkson Medical Group reports strep throat and some of those flu-like illnesses. Chicken pox is popping up in Northville. West of Washtenaw County, the Washtenaw County Health Department says several confirmed cases of influenza have been diagnosed in the past week. Right now, young adults are the group most affected. Doctors at U of M are seeing a big back-to-school increase in respiratory illnesses with wheezing, cough, and fever. Heading to Monroe County, the ER at ProMedica Monroe Regional is seeing lots of kids with respiratory illnesses along with some outdoor injuries. And finally, in Macomb County, the CVS Minute Clinics are beginning to see cases of influenza A and an increase in strep throat. Dr. Emily O'Reilly at McLaren Macomb reports a few cases of hepatitis A coming into the ER, along with seasonal allergies and viral upper respiratory infections. Now, respiratory illnesses are really difficult to avoid, and that's why it's especially important for anyone who's sick to do their part by covering coughs and sneezes. Also, keep in mind, hand washing when you're sick can help decrease the chance that you're going to spread the germs to anything that you touch. Back to you.